Kirkland survived a ferocious onslaught. Let's see how they come out. And Gulo's in the black trunks. Clara is in the white trunks and the colors of Cuba. And Kirkland is a southpaw, and it was a, a lead right hand that put Kirkland on his back early in their first round. And we'll see if that right hand is a factor in the first round here against Lara. Another left hand. Lead left hand there for Lara. Pecking away with the left hand, the lead left. And we, you know, I don't need to tell you all wrong, but the sometimes plodding stalker, Alfredo Angulo. Angulo comes straight in right there, working the body coming upstairs. Elbows and fists on that exchange. Laura, there's the distance that Doug Fisher was talking about. Got a reach advantage. When he stays out of that distance, he can be a sniper. In the purest sense. Left hand again. Laura's oh, that there's that left hand. Yeah, it's not just fast; it's well timed. He's seen something because he's come out here with lead left hands four or five times, holding the right hand really low, inviting it. Gulo. Yeah, there's a combination upstairs right there for Laura. Right hand. Laura landed a lot of punches in the first two minutes of this fight. Try to pour on the pressure if you can. He's a pressure fighter 100% all the way. That's why he's a crowd favorite. He's just going to dig down. Laura's going to give you the movement. Peck, nice left hand doubled up on it right there. Gula working the body, which is a... And that wasn't necessarily a hard But Agula's strategy is to do something that you think he might have to do, which is to work the body, to get little shots, and get the shots, and whatever he can do downstairs. He is getting close. Uh, I'm not saying um, as much of a jab. Agula right on top of it. Get a good round for Alfredo. The crowd's liking it. Right left, we were talking about right there. Nice left hook to the body again. Yeah, he's left. Working on it right Big heavy hands for Alfredo Angulo. Working downstairs, working it up and down. Hey, this is a good round. Very this good is, round for Alfredo. Been a, a very fast paced fight. First two rounds, Lara was in complete control, but Angulo's coming on you. No, no angry shots to the head, but he's working the heck out of the body. Four, folks. Good body punchers over the years tend to chop the pants down, especially slick fighters. They're not used to being hit the body. Like that. Oh, 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 left hook! Puts Eris Landy Lara down! And just when I said he has a good chin. Right out of nowhere. And then Goodland's going to jump right back out and try to finish up if he can. Now he's tried this before against James Kirkland. Right hand gets in right there. A flash, fast knockdown from the pressure of Angola has Laura in trouble right here with 130 to go in the fourth round. A lot of time for Angulo. I think he should go back downstairs to the body and then bring that left hook back up to the chin. It was set up for working downstairs and he was on the ropes right now and Angulo's gonna keep firing away. Right hand gets in, another right hand gets in. Laura backing up. Laura counters with the right hand, seems to be have his legs pretty well with 50 seconds to go in round number four. Angulo needs to try to hurt him again because one of Angulo's eyes seems to be bleeding a lot. Mentally, if not nothing else. Two great competitors in the 154 pound super world weight division and giving us what we expected. See Angulo still tagging away on that hip bone downstairs. And then he came right back across the top. Oh, good combination from Laura right there. Left hand followed up at the end of it. So far, this is a nice comeback round for Laura, but he's really having to work hard for it. Sizzling pace in these rounds. Right in your face, Alfredo Angulo. 
Yeah, how can he see, throw uh, such a volume of punches every time out? That's how he trains. He's just, just continually throwing and throwing and throwing. That is how he trains, and that's how he's always fought. So it's just in his body's memory. If he's in good condition, he can throw. He can average 100 punches. You're right. I think he needs to get Angulo's respect. Good right hand right there. Because Angulo is kind of smothering him. Yep. And even though Laura is, is, uh, is outlanding Angulo and landing the clean punches, he's having to fight at a very fast pace for just in the sixth round of a 12-round fight. It seems like it's been on longer, doesn't it? It certainly feels that way on Laura. Except not on Alfredo too much. Now, they are hoping that Alfredo punches himself out. That did happen in game two against James Kirkland. Yes, but Kirkland was, uh, was an offensive machine just like Angulo. Laura more of a, right now, he's more of a stick and move boxer. He's getting pounded on the ribs. He's got the right hand. That's what Laura, we see. But Laura doesn't need to stand there. That's not a good spot. He is willing to trade shots, but he gets, he gets eight for every one he throws when he stands on the rope. Well, Angulo said that Laura was going to move nonstop once he got the ring. And he was right about that. But so Laura's going to have to really use all his boxing skills, which he said he was going to, to counter this guy who's been right in his face all night. Now, the left eye is beginning to swell on Alfredo Angulo. And the right hand, the Laura's been throwing very effectively. Just a sharp puncher. And I think that's why Fisher has him ahead of the scorecard despite the 10 8 round. He's just, he's, he's more effective in what he throws when he throws it. But he's not afraid to stand there and take a few punches. But as we get into the late, back this way, that way, I never know. <laughs> I think it depends on which hand is tired. Because <laughs> he throws the left a lot, then he'll go to the right and keep charging forward. I think his engine is running fine. I think the only concern is if, if his face can hold up. Yeah, it's pretty, it's made up pretty well. There's a nice left hand. Laura is in the bread basket. Solar plexus. Oh, on the inside there, and Bruno almost caught it with another left. Yeah, well, he got the left to the body and um, kind of grazed him with it to the head. There's a left hand. The body shots, I think, set that up, Doug. Yes, are in big trouble. If he stands there, trying to catch his breath, getting peppered away, and Gula putting it down again with the left. What a dramatic fight. Look, Laura. Pounding away, right hand upstairs. Laura comes back with the left. Laura's got his legs back. There's no doubt that Laura can come back. I'm not believing what we just saw. <laughs> I'm dizzy. And Gulo knew he was hurt. From that left hand, he turned around and walked away. A fight that he had put Laura on the canvas twice. Wrong just happened to me. And that was it. Oh my goodness, what a battle. And look at the way this is. His eye is exploding. Yeah, his left eye is immediately well, they gotta, They're going to have to get eyes to get a two completely on yes. this. Comes at one minute, 50 seconds, round number 10. Referee Raul Kai Sr. calls a halt to the contest due to an injury sustained by Angulo. Therefore, we declare your winner by TKO victory and now the WBA interim super welterweight champion of the world, El Oro de Guantanamo, Erislande Lara.